welcome back to the Monroe County Civic Theater's Actor Profiles, where we'll be learning more about the upcoming plays and the people involved. Today, I'll be joined by Cassia Scagnoli. She's playing Cecily Cardu in the upcoming production of The Importance of Being Earnest in a Pandemic. You can check out the link below for more details and to get tickets. Ring, 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 oh, ring. Here she is calling in now. Ring, ring. <laughs> Ring. Hello, welcome. Hi. Yeah, how are you this evening? I am great. I am great. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, so we just have a few questions for you this evening. We're gonna really gonna dive right in. Uh, the first one's a real tough one. You may not know it. What do you do when you're not rehearsing or memorizing plays? Yeah, um, I am. I really love outdoor activities. I do a lot of rock climbing and. Um, uh, play of many instruments. I love to learn new things and read and I do a lot of yoga. Um, so it's just a lot of a lot of a uh, physical activity. I really find a lot of joy in when I'm not sitting and reading a play or being a part of a show or anything. So yeah, and sometimes I can solve a too if I try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many different instruments do you play? What, what instruments? So I, I play piano, clarinet, and ukulele probably uh, like most most well, but I also just have in my arsenal, I guess, a, a violin and a trumpet and saxophone and and uh, just a lot of instruments. I think my parents uh, just kind of kept throwing them at me as I was growing up, and I would just accept them and try and figure it out as I was growing up. And I kind of had a love for music, which led me to to go to school for musical theater, actually. Okay, awesome. That is quite the arsenal there. <laughs> awesome. Well, speaking of going to school for musical theater, how long have you been acting or how did you get involved in theater originally? Yeah, so I think um, my parents just didn't want to, you know, deal with me being rambunctious at home. And so they threw me into a community uh, theater production of The Wizard of Oz when I was 10 years old. Um, and I played a, a ballerina munchkin. Um, and that kind of started my journey of theater. And I continued through community theater in my hometown and did it in high school. And then I decided to ultimately pursue it as a career here at um, Indiana University Bloomington. Okay, very nice. So speaking of Bloomington in particular, how did you get involved with MCCT and this show in particular? So um, our fearless director, Becky, um, she reached out to me um, on, on Facebook and, and really I'd only met her once. Um, I had known Tony Brewer and a few other um, folks in the cast um, from previous projects and um, through knowing them, I met Becky in a project and she remembered me, but she couldn't quite remember my name. And she like searched me up on Facebook and she was able to find me. And she was like, I don't know if, you're, if you remember me, but I want you to do this thing. And I was like, okay, like, give me a call. Let's see, let's see what's about. And she was just, she was so excited about it. And, and it's her first directing project that I, I felt really, really honored and really happy that she really thought of me as uh, to have a place in the show. So that's how I got involved and, and, I'm, and I'm here. Oh, awesome. Okay, so speaking of new opportunities, right now we're in the age of COVID and we've been social distancing. So what has been the hardest part about this production and producing theater at all uh, since this has been going on in kind of in general? Yeah, so, um, you know, I think the hardest thing about it is, is you know, we go to the theater to, for a live experience to feel connection and to, and to share those stories um, with a group of people. And I think it's been an initial hurdle of, of struggling to feel that same connection over Zoom and over these other platforms that we've been able to share um, theater. But in that same vein, there's been so many incredible things that have come out of it um, because we just have to make it work. Um, and I, I felt that with this show, um, with all of our fun costumes and our backgrounds and everything, the additional music, it's been coming together really well. And, in, and so in my college career, um, I've had a lot of friends who have um, really banded together and we really push each other to still find ways to stay creative through through what we've been going through. And with that, I've been, um, I've somehow become an audio engineer and me and my friends have, if you know, uh, Tiny Desk Concerts that, uh, that NPR does on YouTube, mm -hmm. um, we made a version of that called Unmuted Living Room um, Concerts. So if you want to check that out on YouTube, anybody, I don't mean to uh, just uh, 
try and try and get some some subscribers here but but it's really incredible work and it's our our, our entire senior musical theater class who does um, a few songs we have about 27 episodes we've been releasing them since early January and and going through April um, so we have an everything from from musical theater repertoire to pop songs and folk songs and, and all in the in-between and some original songs by a, a really great songwriter in my class, Allison Demers. We've just, we've been able to, to be so patient and really keep each other safe in order to do some live theater too. I've, I was able to music direct a production of Into the Woods that we were able to do live. I directed um, murder ballad with university players in a, in a live format also. And the way that we've been able to create pods and keep each other safe because of this is the thing that we love the most and this is our time to learn it has been really, really uh, eye-opening and it's really taught me how much I, I love what I do. Um, and I'm happy to, I'm happy, I have, I'm really happy that it, it seems that the world is, is starting to come back to life as vaccinations are uh, coming out and everything, go get vaccinated if, if you haven't. Um, yeah, it's been it's been difficult, but it's been really rewarding too. Awesome. So so let's see what we've learned about you tonight. Uh, musical musical theater, musically inclined, an entire arsenal around you. Audio engineer, <laughs> director in this show. You can take phone calls while you're being interviewed. All <laughs> these wonderful things. Uh, and this is the age of COVID. This is the age of everything we're discovering. We can all give a little bit of grace. Uh, and so speaking with the next thing that you're in coming up. Tell us how how can these people see the show? Yeah, so um, April tenth at seven p.m. Um, you can find tickets at a link that'll be um, posted. If you aren't able to see the live show, there are other options. Um, you can see a streamed version of um, of the show that's been put together April seventh, April seventeenth and eighteenth. Um, and you should really come check it out because it is a great laugh with a lot of great people. Every rehearsal has been so joyful and, it, and it's been so great to just experience this process with all of these other people and, and create something really fun for, for our community here in Bloomington. I'm Kenny Hurtling and on behalf of MCCT, thank you for supporting our community theater. Have a good night, folks.